Alright, so for everyone that doesn't know me, my name is Chastin, I'm the best friend and sister of the newlywed bride here. We have known each other for about 25 years, even though she wouldn't speak to me for about 17 of those years. I was friends with her brother, and I would go to their house and she would not talk. She would look at me and walk away. And here we are today. Alright, so I want to thank everyone who made this day possible for Rick and Michael. They both so much deserve it. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> so, the school with y'all, I'm going to take a second just to talk about my best friend. Y'all cool with that? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so, Brittany is one of the best people I know. She's probably disagreeing with me at this moment, but that's fine. She was always hard at it. I don't need her approval to tell her how special she is and what she needs to be in everyone in this room. Everyone has a special person in their life, and she is mine. She makes me laugh at times until I physically hurt and have no control of what sounds are coming out of my mouth. I think her sister up here can attest to that from our bachelor weekend in Jersey. What do you think, Mom? Uh, I wouldn't change that for anything in the world, though. Uh, she helps me to believe that there are really good people in this world, and Lord knows we all could use more of that. She is the one who pulls me from under when I'm having a bad day. When I'm down and the world seems dark and empty, she lifts me up. Maybe it's by video chatting with my beautiful and adorable, funny goddaughter, Haley. Maybe it's her video chatting with me that threatens physical harm. <laughs> or maybe it's just to simply listen to make my world seem bright during that moment. For all of this and much more, I'm thankful to have such an amazing person in my life. So I could go on and on, but Brittany would probably be ready to body slam if I told y'all about our adventures and secrets. Plus, she told me I'm on a time restraint, so I'll continue anyway. Right. All right. So the first time I heard about Michael was similar to the first time I met and spoke to Michael. Brittany, and I, Brittany, I swear, talked as much as Michael does for a week straight telling me how she finally spoke to this guy she met on Safe Snap a long time ago. Brittany reminded me 1,246,708 times of how handsome and charming he was. <laughs> Needless to say, during that week, I didn't speak to Brittany much because she spent every, and I mean every, waking and even some sleeping moments on the phone with him, and I am not exaggerating, 100%. They were inseparable from day one. Finally, the two of the best singers on Six Act will make beautiful music together for a lifetime. Michael. I want to thank you. Great speeches, great dancing, it's 
Hi, City Ministry. Um, the first thing I'd like to obviously start with is just congratulating our bride and groom, Mike, Brittany. Yeah, I love you guys. Congratulations. Jump to the fist head on, and you're ready to tackle him. But, in all honesty, he's, he's, he's ready. He's, you know, he's been ready, and you can see on his face, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see in Brittany. It's been beautiful like, to learn who you are and, and to know you. And I'm honestly I'm looking forward to even more because you know what? You guys are a great couple. How many of you this man? So thank you both. For everybody else, uh, I'd like to again thank everybody that's in attendance for coming in and supporting this beautiful couple. Um, again, it's a beautiful thing to see them unite, get married. It's been like a long time coming. Um, when you kind of look at things and you kind of think about Mike and Brittany, Think two words that come to mind. Passion and heart. Now I'm gonna start with one because in a long time coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I told you I had to get you. I, I gave you a clue about that voicemail, right? So I had to get you. This guy, I mean, everything he put, he, everything he puts into I mean, Mike, it's all passion, everything. Like honestly, you wouldn't believe it, but he was like a semi-pro superstar, he was a superstar in ball. Like when I first met him, 25 years ago. I mean, honestly, he was, like, honestly, you got one? Nasty. You <laughs> couldn't take this, man. You know what? He was, like, determined. He determined, like, Jordan to get in there, put that work in, boom. I'm going to take you one-on-one. -on -one. He really had that passion and that pride for it. You see him out there at night, balling, out there, <laughs> shots, 10,000 shots, holy style. Like, this dude, dude was dedicated. He really was dedicated to the craft. He put the everything, passion, heart, and soul into it. The voicemail I just mentioned, so he's had the same voicemail for about three years. <laughs> and, 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 and you know what it is? It, it's because of his other talent. This other talent is Mike and Sid. And, and it really, and it goes, I went to my the best rendition that I can. I'm going to do that. I'm going to butcher it. I can't do it like you. I love it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. 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 I love this dude. And I know, even when he made it, I, I, I know for sure, absolutely 110%, that this man put his heart and soul into it. That's why I kept it. You know what? I'm going to tell you a little bit about what he's going to have now. So you already know that's why he kept it. So it's, you know, but what, what, what it really comes down to is it kind of highlights who Mike is. Yep. And Mike is a person that wears his heart on the sleeve. He operates from a place from his heart, from a place of passion. Everything that he does. So I always knew that whoever Mike ended up with, it was going to have to be somebody that came from that same energy, that brought that same vibe. It wouldn't have worked any other way. It couldn't have worked any other way. And so that kind of brings me to Brittany. When Mike first told me about Brittany over the phone, talking about it, he was like, you know, Keith, I think we're gonna marry this woman. You know, this is the shit. I feel like this is she truly understands who I am. And that serious voice. And so I knew at that point, okay, this, we might be onto something. So for me, I booked the trip, booked the flight, I gotta come meet Brittany. Because honestly, this has got to be something special because if someone, it's going to be someone that brings the same passion that he brings, we got to meet this person. We've got to see what this is about. Again, I haven't known this man for all these years. Um, meeting you, Brittany? That's right. You know, I can see that he is so at peace. When you guys are together. You can see the joy. It's amazing to see the joy. When he talks about you, he's very effusive. When he speaks about you and the memories you guys share, and the memories you guys want to build, and then you guys together, and you, you kind of see that. And it was always important for Mike to have that because, you know, because otherwise with Mike, you know, not being able to meet that passion head on, it, it, just, it would have drove him nuts. So to see him like literally at peace, like you literally bring that to him. And that's really like the definition of a, like a complimentary piece. And sometimes it's not like a one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to this. For everybody, this is a different formula. The math works different. It's never exactly the same. But for Mike, the math was simple. The passion and the heart. 
and you can see it when they're with each other. You can see it as they raise their beautiful daughter, Haley. You can see it, you know, I, I can hear it when Mike talks about Brittany. And it's, it's really just a wonderful thing to watch because especially having known this man for 21 years, you're the one. It had to be you who couldn't be anybody else. You know? I just think that, and even watching Facebook videos and just like interacting, I mean, you, you can really kind of see it all just play out in motion. And it's all again just a wonderful thing to see, a wonderful thing to hear him talk about. And I'm really looking forward to kind of sharing that with him because we talk on the phone about a lot of crazy stuff. This is his other passion, just talking to me for 50 years. Next thing you know, boom, two hours on pass on the phone. Two hours on pass on the phone, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be up doing this NBA homework until 4 a.m. But you know what? It's all good because you know it's you know we, just, we no matter how long we might go without talking, or how short we can chop it up. And when he talks about things that are truly important to him in his life, it's always from a place of passion and a place of love. And you know, and for that, and, and with that, I want to honestly have you know, have us give a toast to our bride and groom. Yeah. yeah. yeah to, you know, to, to the passion of love and wonderful, you know, places, things to think about the, the, your favorite person in the world. The most favorite thing, the, the most favorite hobby that you do, the most, the, the best thing that you bring to this world, the best thing that you bless other people with, that you put passion to. I want to have a toast to that type of passion, to that type of heart that you bring to that person. To that thing, to those people, the blessing that you bestow upon people in your life on this earth. I want to have a toast to the groom and the bride. I want to toast all y'all to every, to all of everybody, to that passion, and to that heart. Thank you for that. Next, we would like to bring up. Hi, I'm Siomara. I'm Michael's little sister, and I am so honored to be standing here tonight speaking to all of you wonderful people. Not only as Michael's sister, but as Brittany's matron of honor. Uh, really quickly, in case you were wondering, um, I'm not going to be singing at the, at the end of this speech. I'm not nearly as talented in that department as my brother and Brittany, Chastity, whoever else sang tonight. Um, but if anybody else is going to be singing, if you need a backup dancer. I got you, girl. <laughs> We know you, girl. I'm your girl. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> take it back. Let's take it back. Let's take it back to the early 2000s. It was both a blessing and a curse having a family computer in my bedroom. God forbid I left my room for a second to go get a snack, go outside, hang out with a friend. Uh, I would return to a locked door with my brother inside saying, See ya! You have to wait. It's my turn to stay next. You have to wait. Just wait. What's he waiting for? <laughs> exactly. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> there I was, sitting on the other side of the door, on the floor, just posted up against the, the door, and confused, and I'm wondering, like, who is he actually singing to? Eventually, I learned he was performing for his friends, his fans. Oh. <laughs> on a karaoke website called Sing Snap. A site where people from all over the world come to sing for other people, listen to other people sing for them. All over the world. Thousands of people, right? Hundreds, thousands of people. Who knew that one of those people would eventually be Michael's wife and a mother to his beautiful daughter? I mean a father, sorry. To his beautiful daughter, <laughs> Haley. Brittany, first and foremost, welcome to the family. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Cheers! And B, she must have the patience of a monk because he is not easy. <laughs> not at all. But 
when I met you, Ricky, I knew exactly why he left and never came back. Literally, he left one day, he called and was like, I'm moving to Maryland, and he never came back. But I knew why. You were absolutely beautiful. And the love you have for Michael is something that many people never get to experience in their entire lifetime. When he was going through some difficult times in his life, you loved him anyway. When he was struggling to learn to love himself, you loved him anyway. And that's how I know you're going to make the best wife in the world. Loving your partner at their worst and building them up to the very best version of themselves. You've already done that for Michael and I know you will continue to do so for the rest of your life. He's so lucky to have you as his wife and I'm so lucky to have you as my sister. Michael, <laughs> my first best friend. From sharing a room together, to playing sports together, to our family vacations, and everything in between, I couldn't imagine growing up and doing any of those things without you. Life was so much fun having you by my side for so many years. We rarely fought. We loved each other more than anything in the world. You had my back and I had yours. And now look at us. <laughs> We're both married. We have two beautiful girls. Amen. 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 Beautiful, healthy girls. <laughs> and uh, I'm just so proud of us. Most important, I'm so proud of you. You're the most incredible father to Haley. It's the most amazing thing to watch. And, and by the way, you loved me as a sister. I can only imagine the endless amounts of love you have to give to Brittany. She's so lucky to have you as her husband. Um, and now, I'll leave you with this. A few small pieces of marriage advice that I've learned over the last one year that I've been married. Just one. Even when she's wrong, she's right. Can you think of everybody else agree with that? Right? Even when she's wrong, she's right. If she wants to buy something that you know she's never going to eat, like a cucumber for a recipe she might find on Google. And that cucumber just sits in the fridge and it dies. She keeps ordering it week after week and it just sits in the fridge and it dies. She does that. I <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's not a There's a drawer in the fridge, a special drawer where she puts it in to make it look fresh, but it just it's where the vegetables it's go. Called to die. It's called the crisper. It's called the crisper. <laughs> you just leave it alone. Just let, her, let it be. Just, you know what? It's not worth arguing. One day she'll make you that recipe. Just not today. And maybe it needs to die a couple times before it happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I promise I'm going to make it. <laughs> One day. <laughs> and lastly, some people will tell you, like the, the kind of Mary you guys, she set this up, never go to bed anymore. I don't agree with that. I know. Sometimes you just need to go to bed angry because you're mad. And you're cranky. And you need to go to bed and you know what? You're going to figure it out in the morning. And that's it. So, as they say in my religion, mazel tov.